This video will be about Tribal. Tribal is a fantastic and powerful tool and that's why IronCAD is unique. And we will open a tutorial file by clicking on this button and scene. Click on OK and we click on Tutorial tab and select the Tribal one. And then we click on OK. To turn on the tribal you can click on the tools tab and this button but as you can see the button is grey and it's because there are no parts selected in the scene. So if, you, if I select the shaft and you can see then you now you can turn on the tribal and if you click again you can turn it off and you can also use this button and as you can see you can use the key F10 on the keyboard. So if you press the F10 key on the keyboard, you turn on the tribal and you click and press it once again, you, you turn off the tribal. Or you can press escape on the keyboard. Well, the F10 key is sometimes not so convenient to use uh, for to turn on the tribal, especially if you're right-handed, you use the right hand on the mouse and your left hand to the to the left on the keyboard when you're using shift, control and alt. So uh, in that case it would be good to have another shortcut key and uh, to do that you click on the menu button and click on tools and then we click on customize and click on keyboard and in the category we choose uh, tools there you have Tribal Positioning Tool. You click on that, select it, and you see there you have F10. You can add another shortcut key to F10. And if you click on this uh, box, you can add another key. And I usually use the paragraph sign. It's a upper row on the, uh, on the keyboard and to the left. And now you have a, another new, new shortcut key. Uh, click on Assign and Close. And if you click on that that key on the keyboard, paragraph sign, and then you turn on and turn off the tribal. So now you have a new shortcut key for the tribal. And you did it by clicking on Menu button, Tools and Customize. As you can see, we have five parts in the scene and we will put them together by using the tribal. But first of all, I will show you how you can do it. I will work a little bit, little bit faster. And after that, we will do it together. And we will see what choice we have. The shafts are already selected. I will turn on the tribal. And I will rotate parallel to this axis. And I will move it. Move the shaft to the center point of this edge. And, uh, and I will move in that direction to the edge, this edge, center point of this edge and I will put it to parallel to this edge turn off the tribal and select the key, the tribal on and perpendicular to this face and I will move the tribal to this corner and I will move the key to the keyway and to this corner like that, turn off the tribal. Now we will move the green part and uh, let's see, we will put it perpendicular, it will change perpendicular to that face. Now the axis was uh, selected, we will try again perpendicular to that face and uh, then we choose uh, parallel to edge, to that edge, like that. See, we move the tribal to point this point and move it to that point and uh, turn off the tribal. Now it's the one left. I turn on the tribal and uh, click on reverse and I'm going to change the direction uh, point to point to uh, these two holes and uh, then I will move the tribal center point of this edge and uh, then to center point of that hole. So all parts are 
in place and as you can see it's very fast to to place uh, parts in IronCAD by using the tri-ball. Now we will work together step by step. I will close my tutorial file or tutorial scene because I want to open a new one and uh, click on scene and OK tutorials and tut uh, tribal one and OK and uh, now we are ready to work together step by step. We uh, select the shaft and turn on the tribal and before we place the parts together I will try to explain a little about the tribal. Tribal is a fantastic tool in IronCAD. You can use tribal to move or rotate parts in the scene. For example, if you left drag this handle, you can move the part or the object. And if you put the cursor inside the tribal, you will see a hand with a rotation rotation sign. If you can left drag inside the tribal, then you rotate the object or you can right drag inside the tribal and when you release the mouse button you see a pop-up menu you can move in a certain angle you can copy link or create a pattern with the tribal and you can do the same with the other axis too you can uh, left drag and you can move the, the part if we look at the orientation handles, uh, the inner handles, if you right click on it, you will see a pop-up menu and there are several choices to to change direction for the part or for the tribal. And, uh, and this handle is, is used for to move a part or an object in 2D plane in the space and you see also a feedback of the the distance and uh, you can't move it upward just in 2d plane and the same with this handle you just move it in in the, the 2d plane and also with this handle same but another 2d plane and the uh, outer ring is used to, to rotate an object and you rotate the object uh, according to the camera angle. So if you rotate the camera and you rotate the ring the object you see it rotates according to the angle of, cam of the camera. Mm. Now when the uh, tribal are activated we uh, shall right click on this orientation handle and uh, from the pop-up menu we will choose parallel to axis. Click on that we can parallel to this surface or that edge or this edge but we choose this surface so we will use the parallel to this axis of this surface click on that we deselect the axis by left clicking in the scene and then we right click on the center handle and from the pop-up menu we choose to center point center point of this edge the hole and uh, then we have to orbit the camera a little bit we'll see like that and we right click on this orientation handle and we choose uh, parallel to edge and what edge? well this edge so and uh, orbit a little bit and we see that now the key way is in place now we have to move the shaft we select this axis the vertical axis and when the axis is selected you can only move in that direction and uh, if we left drag in the center handle you see that you'll move only that direction so if we select this axis you can only move in that direction and if you select this axis you can only move that direction so we select that vertical and we will move the shaft downward and uh, we can right click on the center handle to center point of this edge click on the edge and the shaft is in place so that's a, an easy way to, to move the shaft we deselect or turn off the tribal select the key 
and uh, turn on the tribal. We have to rotate the, the key. We use perpendicular to face and this face. And I will zoom in a little bit. And uh, as you saw, I deselected the axis after I had done my adjustments. Well, we will move the tribal and when the tribal is blue, it means that it's locked to an object in the scene. As you can see here, but we can deselect, deattach it by pressing the spacebar and it turns white. Now it's uh, is the tribal ready to be moved. And uh, but it's important that there are no axes selected, so we have to click left click in the scene to deselect it. And now we can move the tribal with dra left drag in the or right click in the center handle to point to this point and we press the space bar to lock it at that point and the tribal turns into blue and then we will move the key we right click to point and we will move it to this point like that and the key is in place and we turn off the, tri uh, turn off the tribal we will move uh, the green part and we um, turn on the tribal and the green part we will fit in that track so we right click on the orientation handle that one and from the pop-up menu we choose perpendicular to face and we choose that face and then we deselect the axis by left clicking in the scene and right click on this orientation handle and we choose uh, parallel to edge uh, that edge and we deselect the axis by left clicking in the scene and we press the space bar to move the tribal we right click on the center handle to well not center point but to point to this point and press the space bar to attach the tribal and then we right click on the center handle to the to point to this point and the green part is in place. We'll turn off the, the tribal and now we have uh, only the purple part left. When the part is selected we uh, will turn on the tribal. We click on this uh, orientation handle and we shall choose reverse because this purple part will fit in these two holes and this surface will be connected to this surface. So right click again on the orientation handle and we choose uh, reverse and we deselect the axis. This part will fit in these two holes so I have to change the direction of the part and we do that with uh, the orientation handles and in this case it's very important to to click on the right orientation handle. If uh, we click on that handle, right click and choose point to point it will be totally wrong. It will be of the opposite direction. So we choose the inner handle, right click and click on point to point and we click on the center point of the hole and the center point of that hole and the part is in right direction. I deselect the axis and I dis de attach the tribal because I want to move the tribal and I will move it, I use to center point to the center point of that edge and then I attach the tribal using the space bar again and then I move this part by using to center point of that edge the part is in place and we turn off the tribal well all parts are in place and uh, as you can see it's very easy to use tribal to move, copy and link. So Tribal is a very easy and powerful tool to use in IronCAD.